hey y'all welcome 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 back to my channel so thank you for all the subscribers i'm almost at 300 subscribers so thank you everyone that has subscribed to my channel i just want to thank you thank you thank you so for today we will be um learning how to sublimate on a doormat so this is super easy and super fun y'all i love it love it so with this um i got the uh, mats from home depot and so I'm, first we're going to show you this is the mat it's already sold this one is the bread one right here so um this is the mat right here and we're going to show you how to measure it so right here so when you measuring you want to measure from the top of the um black part right here can y'all see that Let me scoot this mat up real quick. From right here, all the way up right here. And so let's do what it inches up. So right here, to right here, that's like 12. And then right here, to right here, that's 24. So you know, um, using Cricut, they only allow you to do so much for measuring measurement so i'm doing this on canvas so you could go ahead and open up canva and i'm using let's see what size i use y'all um file i use i'm using the 12.3 um, by 11 inches and that's just for the wording right here so all i did was really like split it up like right there so I'm gonna do all my wording over here and then my picture right here so when I measured um from my picture I just went once again right here um that's like a 12.5 and then right here I did like 11 okay and so the paper that I'm using the size that I'm using I'm just 11 by 17 sublimation paper so i got it from my local store here in houston and so let's get down with the design so when you're creating design all you're really doing is texting y'all i mean typing it in there you go to text let's put the mat down for a minute all right so we're gonna go to the text and what you want to do, you want to go ahead and fill up this whole thing. Because this is the paper, the size for the one, sorry y'all, text. This is the size for the, um, for the wording, right? So we're going to go ahead and type in, before you break into my house. So first you're going to do, before... My thing ain't typing. Get it right. Come on. Act right. Probably because I have my direct mat sitting on it. Okay. So before you break, so you're going to do that separate. And so you don't want to go all the way to the top because when you're printing it, it's going to cut that part off. So I'm going to start it. I'm going to leave that much room right there. Because when you're doing it, you have to change it to landscape. And when you're doing it, it's going to cut off like the top wording. So just pull it down some, okay? So before you break, let's see. We're going to get another one. Text heading into my house. And then we're going to change that font. You change your font right here. All the fonts are right there. I don't like that one. That's too thin. So let's do this one. And then you can make that highlight it. You got to highlight it. Everything you do, you have to highlight it. And you're going to make that bold. So then I'm going to move this up right here. Come on. So come on. I like things to work fast. Okay, so we're going to move this right here. So let's see. Can you break into my house? Close this one. 
Stand outside and get right. Yeah, I've been doing so much, so my mind is like running. Stand outside. Add another one. No, this one's going to say get right. And then we're going to move this one over here. And then we're going to move this one over here. So you see how those purple lines are showing up? That lets y'all know that everything is lined up perfect. Like a line perfect and it's even, okay? And so we're going to go ahead and add another one. And we're going to go ahead and put the and symbol. I'm going to put that one in the middle. And do a little bit bigger. All right. So let me see. Is that where I want it? Right here. And with Jesus. Okay, so with, you have to do it by itself because, uh-oh, did I take off the caps? No, I did it. I don't remember that one now. I hate this keyboard because it doesn't show me when my caps are going. Alright, so we're going to go change that one to this one. We want that a little bit bigger. So we want to make sure they're able to see that. And you're going to go to text, add another one, and we're going to put Jesus. We're gonna make that big. We're gonna pull this down. Right there. Pull that up so. Make that smaller because it's cutting off. Right there. Awesome. Yeah, you just play with the size. You play with the size. You play with the font that you want. And so I'm gonna go ahead and change this color while I'm here. So I want like a darker purple this time. So we're gonna go ahead and and go with this purple and then um turn him down the way and go ahead and move this down to where I want it. Alright. All right, got to do exclamation marks, like a lot of them. So they know you mean business. All right, so let's go ahead and change that to a 45. I don't know if I wanted that 45 or not. Y'all just be playing with stuff. Just play, just play with it. All right, that's freaking simple. That's it. So now that we have it the way we want, if everything looks good, you're going to go ahead and you're going to go ahead and download it, right? You're going to do it as a PNG. We're going to download this. And I'm going to save it as just before. Now I'm going to save it as break. Break one. All right, so we're going to save that. I'm going to close this and then what we need to do now is go ahead and erase all this. We're going to delete that and we're going to go to upload. And the reason why we're uploading it this way is because you cannot, if you, you might can. So if you know, if you're able to flip it, um, if you're able to flip it before you change it into a PNG, like it has to be a picture image, please let me know teach me something but I know this flip right here does not show up when you're typing so you have to do it this way you have to save it first as a whole like a picture a PNG image and then you have to um, do it that way so let me go ahead and delete that because I didn't like how I will pull this pull this up 
and then you're gonna go up and then down right there so just like that make sure I want that over support scoot this down just a little bit right there all right so you like I said you want to make sure you don't go all the way up here because it will chop it off so we're going to go ahead and click on this we're going to go ahead and flip this horizontal and then you're going to go ahead to download and I'm going to say this as break flip because you have to sublimate I'm gonna do break flip. Uh -oh. flip. We're gonna save that. Then we're gonna open this. So when we open this, here we go. There you have it. All right. And so we're gonna go ahead and you just press print. You select the printer you have. I have the Workforce 7720. You're going to change it to landscape. And it didn't cut it off, so we did good with the sizes. And then we're going to, I'm going to do the rear slots. And I always do um, the quality of the paper. I always make it high. That's up, man. All right, so I will be using this paper right here. So then you're gonna press OK. And then we're gonna press print. But before we print, let me go to the heat press and turn, turn that on. So now we're going to print. So like I said, I have the um, 7720. So when you do the rear, you have to put the paper in this way. Not the back side, you have to do it the front side facing towards you. So this is how that comes out, just like that. So we're going to go ahead and set this to the side. I'm going to go ahead and get another sheet out. And so, I'm going to close that. And with the girl, I'm going to delete this. I use the same thing. Uh-uh, she can't twice. I use the same paper size that I use for the wording. But what I did with her, since 
this right here it shows that's what i like about canva it shows you about the, the size and it only goes up to a 8.3 by 10.5 so what i did is where's my little flippy dingy yes i turned her and it gave me a lot more space to make her bigger so you see so by me flipping her i was able to do 9.7 by 12.3 that's how i made her bigger that way all right so uh, you do want to do the same thing you're gonna see since she's an image all we have to do is flip her from here flip her and it doesn't matter because she's it doesn't matter if we flip her or not but since I already have her, I'm going to go ahead to my desktop and I'm going to get her from here. So basically you'll do the same thing. You will, um, you will go and you will, uh, flip her and then you'll print it. And so let me go ahead here and I'm going to go ahead and print. I'm going to select your printer. I'm going to change it to landscape. I'm going to change you know what I didn't do that for the last one the paper so I'm gonna do the presentation paper well, let's see, see what the other one we have yeah I'm gonna do the presentation um, premium presentation paper mat since this sublimation I'm gonna go to more settings and I'm going to go to auto select tray rear free uh, rear feed and then we're gonna go to hi for the quality all right we're gonna press ok and then we're gonna press print So that's still printing y'all. So while we're waiting on that, we're gonna get this image and we're gonna go ahead and cut that side off. Barbara, she's coming out, y'all. Let me turn the thing around so y'all can see.
So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go to the mat and we're gonna go ahead and take this down right here where we want it. So you just center it wherever you want it. We'll put it right there. You're gonna get your heat tape. So that is done. Look at that. Look at that, y'all. She came out good. So we're gonna lay her right there. We're gonna go ahead and lay this down. And I, when I'm putting on my heat press, a lot of people use it like their um, on your stuff. I'm gonna show y'all how I put on my heat press. Like I'm not gonna do this yet, just yet. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut the axis off at the bottom. So let me put this at the heat press and then I'll come back and get y'all. <laughs> I was trying to um, I was trying to fix my tape because what you don't want to happen is that tape gets stuck underneath. Go ahead and tear that off because I want to make sure that would be a waste of money. So just like we've been doing the notebooks and stuff, I don't know if y'all see videos of that. I just hang the rug off like that, the little doormat off. I hang it off, and I'm not using the Teflon paper. My temperature is at 399. Let me let it get a little bit hotter because I put it on 405, and then we'll be ready. All right, so I am back. And so what I'm going to do is hold it down myself because I don't want it to get stuck while trying to put, push it back up. So all I do is hold it down with all my stress. You put as much strength as you can on it. You know, 28 seconds. Eighteen seconds. Twenty-four. 
And this is the reason why I go up because now my temperature is dropping to 397. It always do that when I press. So I always go up like a little bit more. And this is the paper, how it looks. You see it? Came out good. So now all I do is go to the other side. All right, so I go over here and I lay her down. On the other side, I make sure she's where I want her to be. People have been saying they've been having problems with this heat tape. Um, I don't have no problems with this heat tape. Maybe they let the heat tape sit forever. Or it's getting hot or something. I don't know. But I'm going to do all four corners. Four sides of that. Corners of that side, y'all. And I'm going to repeat what I just did. I'm going to hold pressure down on it. I'm not using a Teflon sheet. If y'all make this mat, please comment below and let me see it. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you share with friends. If y'all would like to purchase one, they will be on sale. They are on sale, not will be on sale for 35 to 40 dollars depending on what you want and shipping is not included well, we're at 23 22nd 20 um 22nd so now May I help you? Yeah. Oh. Said my little cousin went. She ain't here lurking. All right, y'all. We at two, one, zero. I always go for a little over. I always do that. And I pull up. You don't want to see it with me. And it asks me how I did that. Ooh. She came out pretty. So, yes. If we did it. If y'all have any questions, please comment below. Thank y'all for watching. See y'all next time.